name is Elizabeth Crispalusi. I publish the blog Tech for Luddites, providing tips and tricks for navigating our digital world. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can incorporate your Facebook post into your WordPress blog or website. So this is going to show you how to take your post from a Facebook page, not your personal profile, because a lot of times your, um, your posts on Facebook are private, so they won't show up. So for example, uh, I have a Facebook page for my Tech for Luddites site, and I post not only what I write on my blog, but some other uh, tips and tricks. So I like to link that back into, into the blog as well. So the easiest way to do this is to create a like box in Facebook. And then that incorporates the ability for people to like your page as well as to see the stream that you're publishing on Facebook. So to create a like box, you need to go to developers.facebook.com and then go to the docs page. When you get there, here's the link to the docs page. When you're on that page, then you want to click in the left-hand side on social plugins. And then from social plugins, you're going to go down to the like box, which is about two thirds of the way down here. Then what you need to do, now they show you an example uh, where they're linking to the stream from the Facebook developers page. So the first thing you need to do is you need to change the URL to your um, Facebook URL. So that's, for, in my case, that is facebook.com slash tech for Luddites. And the default width is 292 pixels. Uh, so you want this width to be the same as your widgets. Uh, if you don't know what it is, you can start with 292 and I will show you how you can change it. But uh, I happen to know that uh, on my blog, the maximum it can fit is 250, so I'm gonna change that. And I leave the height blank, because it's going to uh, dynamically um, generate the height based on what the width is. So now I can get a preview of what my like box is going to look like. Uh, it shows me um, not only uh, my stream, but I have the opportunity to show the faces of my friends who have liked the page or not. You can pick between color schemes, light or dark, showing the stream, which is you know what is showing the actual posts on your page, showing a border, and then showing the header, just to be clear, what that is, it's where it says, find us on Facebook. You can either keep it built into the box or when you create your widget, if you wanna turn it off in your widget, you could change that header to say, uh, we're on Facebook, come check us out, or anything that you wanted. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is for the time being. Then you click the button that says get code. Now when that pops up, you're gonna see there's four different choices. The best one for using in a widget is the iframe code. So it's written everything for you. You basically just uh, select it all, control C, so I can copy it. And um, now we're in the dashboard and I'm gonna go down to appearance and to widgets. And right now in my sidebar, I'll just uh, show you that in my sidebar, the only thing I have currently are my current, uh, my recent blog posts, but I'm gonna add the like box underneath that. So what I wanna do is I wanna take a text widget and just drag it over here and it will automatically open. Because I took the header from the like box, I'm not gonna write my own title, but as I said, you could put anything you want in there. And I just gonna copy the code exactly as I, as I uh, paste the code exactly as I copied it. Don't check off the box that says automatically add paragraphs. And I'm gonna save it. Now, you're gonna see something a little odd when I go back to the page. You'll see that it comes in, there's the like box, but it's too skinny. This is because the theme that I'm using has built into it that it resizes down the widgets uh, to narrower than actually the room allows. Um, but fortunately, I can overwrite that with a very simple line of HTML code. And this is something you can do as well. Now you can see, if you see here in the code from Facebook, it says width equals 250. But as I said, WordPress and the theme shrunk that down. So all I need to do is I need to put this code around it they're called div tags, uh, which gives instructions to the, the block of code in between these, these two, the opening and closing tags. So it's going to be div style equals width colon 250 pixels. 
and that's the opening tag. And you have to take a minute to look at it because you want the syntax to be exactly the same with the carrots, with the um, quotation marks, with the colon. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And then at the end, you need to close out that tag. So that's just a forward slash and div. And that just says the div that you opened before, it's now finished. So now I'm going to save that. And when I go back to my page, it's resized it to fit the widget, to fit the sidebar nicely. Still not as big as the original 292, but it looks much better. So um, that's all there is. And now you've got this great like box on your site and uh, people can start liking your, uh, liking your, your Facebook page right from your blog. There you go. Now you know how to add your Facebook posts into your WordPress website or blog. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm Elizabeth Crispalusi with Tech for Luddites. Thanks for watching and have a great day.